to state that what happened in North Carolina, where they passed the most anti-LGBT law ever put into place in the United States, makes me upset, is a huge understatement. I had to wait quite a while before making this video, because every time I tried before, I would just start screaming at the camera. When this sort of thing has been passed in other states, I was pretty livid then too. But in this case, this one is much worse, because they've made it so local laws cannot override these, this state law. Even though Republicans seem to talk how important local laws are supposed to be. But when they want to be bigoted, you know, that's more important than anything else. So, it seems Republicans like to give religious people special rights. And they're very short-sighted about it, too, because they don't think about other religions that might want to exercise their rights, too. Because they're under some sort of strange impression that the United States was founded to promote Christian principles, which is quite false. But that's what they like to believe. They want to rewrite history from a sort of 1950s kind of perspective. Minus the uh, corporate tax rate, of course. But when these sorts of laws passed in other states that weren't quite as extreme, I had actually called for things that would probably be considered terrorism. I called for riots. I called for gay people to become violent if they were denied basic essentials because some they lived in some small, piddly, dink little town that wanted to like there's only one grocery store around and they want to just get some basic groceries and I'm picturing the cashier saying well sorry we, we don't serve gay people here it's my religious liberty I'm just picturing some gay person saying um care to say that again if I said it again then the gay person beats the shit out of the cashier and I called for that sort of thing last time and it was inappropriate it was very emotional though if this shit starts catching on in more places you might find me saying that sort of thing again but North Carolina is like they're trying to emulate Russia or something so now I think that People should exercise their beliefs, whether or not they're religious-based or not. And of course, I imagine the Republicans will be like, well, it has to be religious beliefs for it to be valid. To me, beliefs are beliefs. Just because they come out of religion doesn't make them any more important. Or at least that's, that's not the way it should be anyway. I've talked in other videos about how if, if businesses are to have dress codes, 
people shouldn't be able to bypass the dress code just because of a religious belief. Either everyone has to follow the dress code or nobody should have to follow the dress code. One shouldn't have special rights just because of their religious. So I'm suggesting that people should uh, discriminate against Christians. Literally ask the question, a customer comes in and the employer goes, well, are, are you religious? Do you believe in the Bible? And the customer might go, well, yeah. Well, I'm sorry, we don't serve Christians here. And it'd make the news. It'd be all over the place, and Republicans would be outraged. And that's all it would take, I think, to show how outrageous this whole thing is. How dare you discriminate against a Christian? How dare you? That's outrageous. Yeah, just as outrageous as discriminating against someone because they're gay. You have a choice in your belief. Someone doesn't have a choice in who they're attracted to. So... But this whole thing brings back a number of negative memories for me. There have been a number of gay activists in the 90s who I feel very strongly did more of a disservice to the gay community than anything positive. And it's why when I have discussed gay people becoming violent towards some of these people, I didn't really think it was that bad when I compare it to how ineffective groups like ACT UP are, or were anyway. I don't even know if they still exist anymore. They were supposed to be for AIDS activism, but they went into other areas. When one of these kinds of initiatives or measures were being promoted here in Washington State. Oregon had one called Measure 9. A friend of mine and myself and some other friends of his, we decided to dress conservatively and go to a planning meeting for this uh, for this initiative. And there's this speaker talking about religious freedom, this or that, and it's all about freedom. And so we'd, you know, each one of us made sure we didn't look like we were together. Each one of us would ask these questions. Well, um, well, it says it's going to do this and this. Um, you know, how does that work with when it comes to freedom? It doesn't say that anywhere, the speaker says. Well, yeah, it does. It says it right here, and we read it off. Well, well, that's not what it meant. We're like, um, that doesn't matter. It's That's what it'll do. And some of the people and the, the, the rest of the people that are attending the meeting are kind of murmuring, oh, murmur, murmur, we didn't know it did this. We felt pretty successful. This happened several times. Then suddenly, act up. Bursts open the door. And they all go, You should be ashamed of yourselves. Shame. Shame. And they circle the room every step they take. It's shame. 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 It took several minutes for them to circle the room. And of course, the speaker let them in without any issue. Didn't tell them to leave because... He knew that they would make most of the people in that room support the bill. Whether or not it really stood for freedom or not, he'd get their backing. And it certainly that's certainly what happened. But that's what ACT UP did. That's what they like to do. Remember being at a pride parade. I've talked about this one a few times, too. 
And uh, I was in this uh, youth group called Oasis. And we had this little area that we were uh, marching in the parade. And ACT UP was in front of us. And uh, there are some Christians standing on the sidelines with the signs that are like Westboro Baptist Church. And what did the people from ACT UP do? Well, they're going to go up to them and go, You have to accept us. You, you have to accept us. And that was probably distorted, but oh well. And I'm thinking to myself, that is the stupidest thing you could tell them. Are you, are you fucking idiots? They were, as far as I'm concerned. Then, a couple years later, I decided, well, I'm going to try to get involved in, in gay activism. So I went to an ACT UP meeting. It was very difficult to find out where this meeting was. They were very secretive about it. And uh, so there were, we're sitting there, kind of... Uh, what do you call that? Uh, Indian style, you know, I forget what it's called. You, you sit, you're, you're sitting on the floor. And we're all talking about this uh, march on the Capitol building that we wanted to do. And they're saying, we, we want to prove that we're just like everyone else. And then they start to talk about the outlandish outfits they want to wear to this march. And I'm saying, wait, wait, wait. I thought you were saying that you wanted to prove that we're like everyone else. Well, this is who we are. And I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. That You just said you wanted to prove we're like everyone else. I just couldn't figure it out. I mean, these outfits they, they wanted to wear, I mean, they would be things that Lady Gaga would reject, okay? <laughs> I mean, that over the top. Um... Things that stand three feet above their head, you know. Um. <laughs> and I, so I said, well, we're in a room full of accepting people. Uh, people that aren't going to judge you uh, for who you are. But I don't see anyone dressed that way now. Yeah, yeah, you're just a bigot. 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 And everyone starts chanting bigot. And uh, they start pushing me towards the stairs and almost shove me down the flight of stairs. Yeah. And then I remember going to a planning meeting for a Pride March in Seattle. And they were struggling with what to call the march because they were getting tired of it being this this huge long banner the gay lesbian bisexual transgender uh, 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 people who accept gay people uh, 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 p flag blah, 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 just this big long name they're trying to figure out how to uh, to cut it down so it wasn't such a huge name so I said well how about calling it the sexual openness parade that's not what this is about. I was like, well, what's it about then? And guess what just guess what happened? The same thing that happened to the act up meeting. You're just a bigot. Bigot, bigot until I left. So needless to say, I don't have very good opinions of gay activism. Um I've uh, clashed with with this sort of thing for a long time. And uh, so these, this law that got passed in North Carolina makes all that stuff come back to me. Knowing that people probably aren't going to have any sort of methods that will actually work to tackle this issue. It'll be a bunch of people pushing forth. You have to accept me. And organizations that will try to put some sort of legal pressure and will fail. Um, one of them, what, the Anti-Defamation League or whatever it's called. I know there'll be all this pressure. 
And maybe they'll give in to pressure if it's financial pressure. But... I'm sorry, gay people, gay men particularly, make the worst activists. I'm sorry, their activism is fucking ridiculous. And that's all I can picture happening in North Carolina with people trying to protest against this stuff. Picture that same shit. Stuff that's completely ineffective. You know? So I'm, I'm hoping there will be some business that says, oh, we discriminate against Christians. I'm hoping that will happen, because it will make the news immediately. It will make the news immediately, and there will be a big rigmarole about it. And then the real discussions can come up. But honestly, I think in this regard, the Republicans are just going to get their way. If they're the majority in any sort of way, they seem to get their way. And with how ridiculous um, progressivism has gotten, they're going to continue to get their way. They're going to continue to get their way. Think about this for a moment. And it, it wasn't until these batshit crazy sociology major people, the whole social justice warrior thing, until those people started to shove forth all this stuff demonizing, demonizing straight people, demonizing cis people, demonizing men, demonizing masculinity. It wasn't until then that we started having these, this pushback. Do we like this pushback? No, we don't like this pushback. How about we stop being so fucking extreme in the first place so there won't be this pushback? How about that? How about stop being so fucking ridiculous with the way that people are activists? How about that? Now the reason why I think if gay people became actually a little violent about this stuff is gay men are the last people that anyone pictures becoming violent about that sort of thing. Gay men are looked at as pushovers. Complete pushovers. Let everyone walk all over them. Gay men are carpet men for the most part. And so, if gay men, a lot of gay men, started acting quite different than the stereotype, it might make people go, oh shit. But usually, you know, their version of violence is, uh, you have to accept me. <laughs> I'm starting to get hysterical again. I should stop making this video. I can't stand the way the gay activists go about things. I can't fucking stand it. Completely ineffective. Completely ineffective. It's one of the big reasons why it took so damn long for anything to be done about the AIDS crisis. 
It's one of the biggest reasons why it took so fucking long. And here we have some of the United States starting to look like Russia. And we're just going to sit there and take it. And then the only, the, the primary support we're going to get is from, oh, look, BuzzFeed News. This had me a little upset right before I made this video. I was trying to, I was doing a little more research about this, about the law that passed in North Carolina, and I came up to um, some videos from PBS. I said, oh, and here to talk about this, we have uh, this woman, I can't remember what she, who she was from, and then this guy that represents BuzzFeed News. You're going to bring on BuzzFeed News to talk about this shit? BuzzFeed? Why not bring MTV on? Yes, you're sure, you're sure to get, you're sure to get lots of understanding and support from people by bringing on these kinds of people, right? It's just as ineffective as ACT UP was. What happened to smart activism? What happened to thinking about the way that the people who, whom you are speaking against, what happened to thinking about how those people think so you can find a way to get into their heads? What happened to that? What happened to the art of that? Well, it's all, you have to accept me. You're just a bigot, bigot. Bigot. Shame. Shame. Like that's going to do any fucking good. 